Are you tired of searching for different methods and tools to enable dike port on your Qualcomm phone? If yes, then you have come to the right place on how to properly install the Qualcomm drivers and enable the dike port on your Android device. Hi everyone, Imran here with another ultimate step by step tutorial on how to install drivers and enable diagnostic mode on all Android phones that run Qualcomm chips including popular brands like Google Pixel, Xiaomi, Oppo, Lenovo, Infinix, OnePlus and other Android brands. Whether your phone is rooted or not, I will show you how to enable Dike Ford. Diagnostic mode is an essential tool for Android users and developers as it allows you to access advanced diagnostic and testing features on your Android device. It is mostly used to troubleshoot networking and IME repair of your device. This video is made for all users including beginners. So if you know how to install the Qualcomm drivers and set up ADB and Passboot drivers on your PC, then you can skip the driver installation part and skip to 5 minute mark where I have shown how to enable dike port. I have already written a step by step guide on our website on how to download the required files including the Qualcomm drivers and how to download and install ADB Passboot drivers on your PC. There are two methods, one is Google Platform Tools, the other one is 15 second ADB installer. So choose whichever one is easier for you. Now below are the ADB commands, these are for mostly OPPO phones and here are some commands for Google Pixel phones and some codes you can dial on your dial pad without having root access on your device. Now first of all I will download the Qualcomm drivers, Google platform tools or 15 second ADB installer. Click on the download button. I have already downloaded the file. Just want to show you the download links and how to download them. Click on download Android SDK platform tools. Save the terms and conditions and click on download button. Now it is optional. If you are downloading platform tools, then you can skip this or download this one. It will install the ADB Passboot driver system wide as compared to platform tools where you have to open the command probe in the same folder. Now here are all the download files. I will get rid of the zip files. You need to unzip the files. Now here are all the unzip files. First of all install the Qualcomm drivers. Drivers are installed. Now open the platform tools. If you are using platform tools then you don't need ADB passboot drivers. The other file that I will show you later. Now right click in the folder. Now hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click in the folder and select open command window here. And it will open the command window like this one or you can Type CMD in the toolbar and hit enter key on your keyboard and as you can see command prompt is open here where you can run the commands. Alternatively you can install the ADB setup system wide so you can just run the command prompt from anywhere. Double click to install this. Do you want to install ADB and fastboot? Yes. Install ADB system wide, yes. Now, do you want to install device drivers? Yes. Now, this will also install device drivers if it is not already installed. Now, on your device, you need to have proper root access on your device. I will now run the root checker app to show you that my device is already rooted. Tap on verify root. Now as you can see I have proper root access on my device. Now go to settings, scroll down and tap on about phone, scroll down, tap on the bell number for about 7 times to enable developer options. Now go back, 
tap on system scroll down and you will find developer options tap on it now here is the usb debugging option enable it which we will be using to run adv commands now you can connect your phone to pc Now as I have installed ADB Passboot driver system wide, I can now run command prompt. Now as you can see command prompt is running. I will type ADB devices just to confirm that my device is connected to PC. As you can see PC has recognized it. Now I will also open the device manager to see when the die com port is enabled. It will show here. I will type adb shell then su now all these commands are given on our website now this I have google pixel phones so these are the commands to boot your pixel phone into diag mode now I will copy each line one by one and paste it in the command prompt and hit enter It is a disclaimer that Pixel device is running on Android 13. If you have, if you try to enable the Dike port, device manager will show you the Dike port. But when you try to change the I me I address, it will not work because for some reason Google has restricted this mode. For this, you need to downgrade to Android 12 to make it work. Now. I will type the last command and hit enter. Now at this point you need to select the file transfer android auto mode on your device. And as you can see it will show you the diagnostic 903A com port. Now when you try to change to no data transfer, it will change the port to Android Dike 901D port. So you need to select whichever is needed for your phone. Now for some reason device manager will show you diagnostic or diag mode for your device. But when you try to change the IMEI of your device, the tool will not work and it will give you error. So here I am going to show you how to fix that error. Now it is showing device is working properly. Click on driver tab and update driver. Browse my computer by drivers. Now select let me pick from the list of available drivers. Now my device is having is showing different drivers. You can try from here or you can click on show compatible hardware. Now scroll down and look for Qualcomm Incorporated. Now when you select this on the left on the right side you will see list of different drivers. Now for OnePlus phones the diag port will not work but the diagnostic port will work. So as you can see here are different drivers. And you scroll down now the, here is another driver diag 9018901d 9018901d 9019901f 9020 there are multiple drivers you can choose from now the, here are some diagnostic port so select that one and click next and try the same and try and retry changing the IMI and this will work hopefully. Now let's move on to the Xiaomi phones. For Xiaomi the link is given in the description of this video. First of all you need to transfer the APK file to your phone and install it. 
Now once the APK app is installed, run the dig on .exe file. Double click on it. Now also make sure that developer option is enabled to turn on the USB debugging option and then connect your phone to PC. Once done, click on the Xiaomi Dive Port Enable button and it will start reading your phone data. I don't have a Xiaomi phone at the moment but my Google Pixel 4 is connected. It will ask you to enable. Just click on yes and it will enable the Dive Port without root access on your device. Just go to Device Manager and it should show you the dike port under the ports some devices will not require root access or a tool you can just simply enable them by using a simple code like i have given codes for oppo xiaomi lenovo huawei vivo infinix and asus now note that these codes may not work on all phone models and firmware versions because due to some security reason they may be disabled in the future now that is why i have given methods that require root access some will require a tool like i have shown for xiaomi dt pro i will also add some troubleshooting tips and tricks in this post so you can read it the link is given in the description thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this